Okay, once I do a video using the back camera of my iPad, because I went, I was doing my yoga in my friend's backyard in Houston, Texas, and I looked up and this is what I saw. And I don't know if those are God's furrows, <laughs> planting seeds in the universe. I really don't know. But I looked at it, I was absolutely fascinated, and I realized, wait a minute, I'm out in fascination, I'm out in awareness. Uh, and this is where we don't go off and up. This is not where we don't go, is to this thing called present time consciousness, which is our only moment in time. So, whoever you are, wherever you are, especially if it's Sudra, uh, stop right now. Stop, I mean, at the end of this video, go outside. Go outside uh, and look around. Uh, walk in the grass, get the sensation of the grass, get to this only time of existence, present time consciousness, let the past go, let the present be present, and try not to look at the future, because it doesn't exist as you think it does anyway. Everything's going to be different when you get there. You know that. It's always been different. Only your mind can tell you that it's the same. So come to this moment. There's none other like it. You've never experienced this moment before. You've never been you in this moment before. And this moment you will never be you again. Uh, this moment will never be again. I stopped and took these clouds I and I, I was I thought, well, I'll do a few more exercises. And I thought, no, these are dissipating. They're starting to uh, experience impermanence or exhibit impermanence as they do, which is the Buddhist term for nothing can ever be the same. Everything is changing and it's impermanent. Uh, if you're in a loud humility, there is a cheap visualization mode, and most times you will get to a higher states of, well, maybe not higher states of awareness, but it will lift your spirits, you'll feel them, because you're going out into visualization state. Uh, if you drop your eyes, uh, according to my own program, you're going into emotional mode, and that's why if somebody comes into the doctor, and uh, they very rarely stand erect, look up, and if they do stop, I feel like shit. Uh, they usually assume the posture. Their eyes are drooping and looking down into the emotional world. But again, a real kind of a cheap, inexpensive way to lift your spirits sometimes is keep your head level and uh, look up. I talked about this in my last class. You keep up with these uh, like God. I don't know whether it's a good or not. But if you're good, it's here to remind you. Step outside, y'all. Go to this moment. Wherever this moment